What's up, y'all? Real athletes, real stories. We are back for the first time in 2023. <laughs> we got our first live guest of the year. We know it's been a few months in the year, but it's okay. Let me know if y'all can hear me good. Y'all won't believe I'm stuck in Houston. That's why y'all don't see my background right now. I'm stuck in Houston and can't make it home till tomorrow, but that's not going to stop the show. Let me send her the live. Y'all in here today? Okay, there she go. Yeah, y'all, I'm stuck in Houston. Wi-Fi ain't working at the hotel. Oh. Hi. You good? How was your day? Hi. I'm good, I'm good. Okay, so we're gonna get started. The first segment is called The Real You, okay? So, fun, cool questions, nothing too crazy. Okay. So, the first one is What's something you're looking forward to outside of track? Mm -hmm. Some, something about five minutes. It's okay. Hold on, it's like loaded. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. 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 You hear me? Yeah, it's good. I think it's good now. Okay. Okay. So something <laughs> yeah, you're looking you forward you know. to mm -hmm. in the next few years, not track related. Oh. Hmm. Well, yeah. that's for me, baby. <laughs> I love that. Okay. What do you spend most of your free time doing? Well, uh, praying, cooking. Speaking in my friend, sometimes gossiping, uh, watching some movies, okay, mostly Nigerian okay. movies. Your, give yes. us a, a Nigerian movie that you recommend. Oh, oh, there's plenty different, like there's kind of, I don't know, but people really know. What? The wedding plan. Ah, oh, yes, the wedding plan. Yeah. <laughs> wedding plan. Okay, yeah, yeah, so yeah, what's yeah, your yeah. most memorable check and field experience so far? So far, so far. Well, there's, there's that. Okay. There's the first time that I went sub 11. It was in London in 2016 because I just came from injury. There's the first time that I get a medal in World Champ. It was also in London in 2017. And there's last year where I do my African record 1072. It was really like. Yeah, it's okay to have a few. Yeah. It's so okay to have a few. You are like that. You're that girl. <laughs> so give us your most mm -hmm. embarrassing mm -hmm. experience. <laughs> most embarrassing. When did I have the most embarrassing track and field experience? Oh, <laughs> one day I was I was running. I was in competition. And I had a diarrhea. <laughs> diary, diarrhea, yeah, a diarrhea while running. You know, I finished run, and I think it was in Monaco. It was a two hundred meters. I finished to run. Well, you know, most of the time when I finish to run, I just hug every people. But that day, if I remember, I just go straight. To the <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. That's it was crazy. Bad. Okay, so what's your favorite? One hundred or two hundred? Well, I really don't have a favorite, really. Mm -hmm. I used to like the 100 before. Like, I used to, have to like the 100. And then before my time of the 200 was much better compared mm -hmm. to my time in the 100. So I'm like, okay, maybe the 200 is also good. But now, you know, to do the 100, you have to do the 200. <laughs> so I can't. Yeah, like, you have a so <laughs> They're part of the game. So. <laughs> okay, so give us someone that you like competing against. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, it, I like it. Like I like competing against mostly the girls with um, mm -hmm. who I compete every time. Shelly and um, most yeah. uh, Jamaican, American, <laughs> mostly all the people that I meet. So yeah. I don't have really a favorite, but yeah, you just like I enjoy being around them. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So do you have do you have a hidden talent? 
Yeah. And what hidden talent? Why? <laughs> Why have a hidden talent? Well, I. Some okay. people say I, I'm a good cook, okay. but I know how to cook, yes. I don't know really how to dance, but I'm really also a funny person. People say, but I'm really funny. I don't know how, but they say, but I'm really oh, yeah, funny, so that's maybe that's you can get that. That's 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 <laughs> but definitely, I guess I would say cooking. Yeah. Cooking is one, because I really love cooking. It's one of something that I like to do when I'm not good. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I really I love love so cooking. how many languages do you speak? Um, I would say mostly French okay. <laughs> because my first language is French, and then I know um, because in my country there's more than sixty three um, mm -hmm. different dialects like maternal language, so I know also my language. I know how to. Mm -hmm. I know. I understand. I speak a few. And I'm trying to you're speak doing English great, now. honestly. You're doing really good. I'm not gonna you're doing great. <laughs> Let me know if I'm like too Thank you. slangy. Cause I know we as Americans talk real <laughs> Yeah. So let me yeah. know. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know already, we have the one and only the African one hundred meter record holder, Miss Marie Jose Salou. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. So first, we're going to start with, what do you remember about growing up in Ivory Coast? Well, I remember going always mm -hmm. to school because I had to work to go to school. You know, um, I grew up in mm -hmm. a family. I grew up with my mom with okay. um, three uh, elder brothers. So um, it was not like that easy because my mom was the only one who was taking care of the house and... You know, you have mm -hmm. to also take care of the house when the mom is not there. So I was the only girl, so I have to take care of the house, go to school. So it was not that easy, but it was quite funny because <laughs> my brothers make it funny <laughs> for me. So, yeah. yeah. It was like some good memories. That's you were the like, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we, I mean, look, I was baby yeah. too. I'm not going to lie. We're the best. So that's just the fact. You know. <laughs> Yeah, you know, but first, so what was your first involvement with sports? I heard you used to play football. Oh yes, I, I used to play football. I used to love <laughs> football. I guess I think that I still love football. <laughs> yes, my yeah. first love in sport was football, and I come from football to on um, track and fields. Um, um, yes, track and field was really something that I was doing just to, uh, because my brother did want me to, to continue football because it was like you becoming too yeah. too uh, little boy you know we don't want another yeah. fourth boy in the house so hey so it take me and go and run and this is how really uh, I start to to do track and field and I really really start to give my all to track and field okay. I think it was in 2014 when I moved to um, Dakar Senegal where I start to say oh, okay maybe this one mm -hmm. can be something really good for me so this is how mm -hmm. I start really to get interest in track and field, but yeah. Yeah. football. That was, that was really. your thing. Do you, get to, do you ever get to play around with it? Mm -hmm. Do you ever get to like play around with it or if play I... around with the soccer with the ball? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to play with men's because at the time, you know, um, the women football was not that mm -hmm. small, that big as now. So I used to play uh, play in a club in my um city with mm -hmm. um my brother friend so i used to play with men even at school in that club and then ev every vacation we we have a tournament okay. is that tournament yes tournament where i go and find another girls who want to play football and we play against each other and the best who yeah. win, win something so like so, you know as a kid like what, was, what did you yeah. feel like you was gonna be as an adult like when i was a kid i thought i was gonna be a veterinarian so like as a kid what did you think you were, what did you think you were uh, <laughs> 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 When I was in primary school, I was like, oh, I will become a journalist. This is when I was, you know, when I was in primary school. And then moving to high school, I was like, hmm, maybe I will become a, a good football player because this is where I get introduced to football. So I was like, ah, oh, I want to do something different. So I'm like, football can be something good. 
and then school was you know there so my mom <laughs> wanted me to become a doctor <laughs> so i tried but then at the end of the day i was like i think that i'm more focused on um sports so if mm -hmm. i'm not doing football maybe track and field so i had plenty different you know from journalist to <laughs> Uh, what is uh, what you say? Yeah, uh, football player to not doctor and now. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, do you, were you always fast? Like, why did you? Why was track and field such a good fit? Oh, uh, yeah. oh yes, I was always fast. Even in primary school, I was always fast. Always fast. This is how, uh, you know, my because my brother is a sport teacher. So this is how his friend, who was my sport teacher at the time, see me and he tell my and they tell my brother that you know your sister she's really fast she beat men, so I think that she can do something good, great. This is how I was always fast, even playing mm -hmm. football because I was a streaker, so I was all over the place. I was at the back, in front, all over the place. Like you give me a ball in one minute, you see me, you know. So I was really fast. It's not something that uh, came yeah. with uh, uh, only training, but it's something with what I, I was born, yeah. but it's just that I didn't start to I mean, that's uh, low-key. I mean, because a lot, I hear a lot of people that start track kind of early. They get to, like, losing the passion for it later. So I feel like that's maybe why your career is so great. It's so long. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Maybe this is why I still there yeah. at <laughs> it's almost still 35. Running, like, <laughs> it's still running super fast. Really? I couldn't even there. But um, so I be coached 100 meter champion floors and body to a 200 meter a 200 meter trial, and you run, you won mm -hmm. barefoot. Mm -hmm. Give us a little, give us a little back. <laughs> yes, my first run. You know what? This one, this thing was really funny okay. because I didn't know that track was like that. For me, it's what I know at school. At school, we was running okay. like 60 meters, 80 meters, and we was doing some endurance uh, running. So it was not, I didn't even know. I didn't know anything about track. So I know that when um, my classmate tell me, oh, there is something in the stadium, I want you to come to come and run. When I, I reach that stadium, you know, all the girls that I see, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to run against them. <laughs> I was really like, you know, tiny. And I didn't have any shoes, wow. really appro appropriate shoes to run. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to run barefoot. And I beat all the girls. And people was like, who is that girl? I'm like, oh, you know, I'm just coming. This is how it starts. It was really, yeah, it was really the best fire. Good crazy. <laughs> no training. Mm -hmm. You had no training, right? Wow. That's wild. <laughs> no. Not training. Not training at all and it's from that time uh, from that day that uh i went to a club and i was training only mm -hmm. i guess twice a week and i think after one month training i improved my 100 meters but i was not yeah. really focused on really track and field yeah to be sure yeah to be realistic wow. not really focused but so at the no, age of no. 18 so, yeah. you won your first <laughs> national 100 meter title do you feel like that gave you the confidence to do this professionally mm -hmm. Um, not really, because as I say, at this time, I didn't know about, you know, okay. the um, words yeah. that I know now, you know. I know track and field in the way of only ivory because I didn't know about the professional life of uh, uh, track and field. I didn't know that you can you know, fly yeah. and even earn money from that <laughs> one. So I was not really focused on that. I was just doing because, you know, I like to do sport, I like to run, and I like to always be the first. And at the time, I was not really the best in Ivory Coast. So wow. it was just, just for fun. So yeah. after a push, you joined the yeah. West African High Performance Training Center. And you saw, like, immediate results. Yeah. What things? Like, what, what do you think yes. helped click? Yes. I, I think that from that time, I started to really okay. train really differently. And the, the training was really, obviously, a high level of training because I was in the center and it was training Monday to Saturday. And I do a lot of different stuff and I was more focused because I remember when I go, I, I went in that um, center, I just come back from China. China was not going, didn't go well with me because I went for China for three years to do sports 
and also um, to right. pursue my uh, school career. But it didn't went well. So when I came back, I was really broke. Uh, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know where to go. And, and I was like, okay, I went there to school uh, to go to school. I went there also to be good also in training and it didn't go well. I will come back in my country without any diploma about anything. And I know my people, they will say, okay, you went somewhere for three years. You didn't even come back with something good for your family. And I know how hard my mom, you know, um, work hard for, for, for me to um, pursue my dream. So I was really broke. And I know that at the beginning, she didn't want me to do that um, sports career because she said women cannot really succeed in, in that one. So I didn't know where to put my head. So I just to make that prayer to God to say, hey, you know, apparently you want me to do something, but I don't know where to go. So if you lead me where you want me to lead and what you want me to be, I want you to, you know, push me to be, to do my best, to give my best. So when I went in that mm -hmm. center, because I was not supposed to be there, I came like they're lucky. So I just said, okay, I'm going to be focused. So it was training home and I was always on YouTube, um, trying to see how to improve my running. And I was always mm -hmm. praying. I was, I didn't have a life, you know, the people from, or from my age was always going out enjoying mm -hmm. themselves me it was training on praying and i was learning so i was really dedicated and focused on my training and this is how think you know um come around and i was not at the beginning i was not looking for money it was how to improve myself how to be better because i know my coach at the time he tell me that you come here i know that you want to be better but what you have to do is to focus on yourself and to not rush and to not run mm -hmm. after money. You know, your talents will give you what you need. So just do what you have to do. So this is how I was really dedicated, focused, and I was not really rushing the process, you know. And year after year, things keep coming. I love that. Like, even with, like, with, the, with the food I made, mean, you can't rush the process and you can't chase the money. Like, you have to just do what you love and let the money come to you. So I definitely can relate to that. I love that. So you have yes. a very successful career already, but yes. with success often comes adversity. So give us a time where you felt like adversity and what you yes. used to help you get through it. It could be like an um, injury, it could be like anything. But you know, all my the things that people don't know is like all my career I run with, you know, some injury. People don't know that. You know, uh, when I was in China, I had a problem in my in both my knees. I had to get um, some surgery, and I say I don't want to get some surgery because I had some bad experience of some people who get some um, mm -hmm. surgery, and you know it didn't went well. So my faith again, because everything that I do, I do with my faith. Uh, I do with what God gives me as a gift. So I always pray God to help me. So every year I had a problem in my knee, in my back because. Um, really, I don't know how to say it, but I'm, my shape is really, you uh -huh. know, my back the, is really the, curved. The spine, yeah. yes, my spine is really curved, so I always have a problem uh -huh. with my back and my knee. And sometimes I had a problem um, uh -huh. from my um, boot till my um, how to say, is that it? arm string. So I always all my career, I'll always run with Android, but you never mm. see me show that I'm in pain or that yeah. it's not good. So every time, so what mm -hmm. helped me, I will say, is my faith. And my faith in God, because I say, if God put me there, he know that I can enjoy mm -hmm. it and he know that I can overcome it. So this is how, even if it's not good, even if sometimes, you know, it's not all the time that you win, it's not all the time that you are in, uh, at the, at your best, but you have to keep pushing and you have to keep believing that God will lead it, lead lead you mm -hmm. where you have to be. So sometimes it's really hard. There is sometimes where I cry. There is sometimes where before going to a race I cry mm -hmm. all the night. But you will see me always smiling. But it's not because I don't have any major problem. It's because I say maybe someone else have more than what I have. So. Why come and just be upset about the world, about God, about, you know, some other people? No, I have to enjoy 
while I'm alive because not some people don't have that chance to be alive and to enjoy and to perceive their dreams. So if every morning I wake up and I have the mm -hmm. power to, lie, to live, well, I can do everything. So this is, oh uh, yeah, my, it's only God, really, really only God. And I will say that also I have a strong, um, how to say it, a strong character so that strong character also yeah. helped me to yeah because you basically so much so you already mm -hmm. know how to yes and I, amen because yeah. let's say something about god he's gonna show up every time like i already know it's already written that's how i kind of go about stuff like it's already written don't set yourself out don't overthink it because whatever's gonna mm -hmm. happen god already wrote yeah. it so i love that I love that. So already... after you ran this blazing ten seven two, your reaction was everything. So what do you feel like your reaction was expressing? Well, it was a mix of gratitude to God, as I say, because last year was I will not say my worst year because every year is yeah. I will say for me is always chaotic. Chaotic, but last year when I I have a change coach, I moved to LA. So it was all new process for me. And training was good. Till April where, um, I don't know, that um, mm -hmm. pain in my shoulder where it came from. And I was not really 100% of myself. So it was really hard to go through that one from April till World Champ. It was really, really hard for me. And I know what I had in my tank. I know what I can, you know, achieve. But I was really... 50% yes. of myself. So when I was going to run, I make that prayer to God because also uh, I, I, get, I think that I put it in my uh, Instagram where I say that, hey, it's my coach birthday, it's 1072 and I think I tell my fiance, you know what, I ask God, what about if I do 1072 just to say happy birthday to coach? And so I know if you say it, if you put mm -hmm. it in the universe, God is going to give you. So I was like, okay. And that day, when I went for that competition, the, the day before my the shoulder before? was really painful. Really painful. I swear, really painful. So I was like, I was telling my coach, he said, how you feel? I said, coach, I don't know. It's really painful. You know, I don't know. He said, you know what? You just have to go and show what you, you, you know to show what you 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 know what to do you know go and give your best you know is a competition where people also expect you to do something so you and go and do your best so that day i was just warming up and i was not one 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 up like every time and i say you know what what god i just give you my whole let your holy spirit guide me and let him run with me because hey by myself actually i cannot and that day, day i was really relaxed and i just execute and i didn't even know the results for me okay i, I came third okay <laughs> i always come third so okay i just say uh, thanks to uh, i just um congratulation and uh, congratulates my other partner so i was like and i see the result i was watching now for the result to say okay what is my time and i see 1072 you know that i, I was like 1072 so i was like oh Oh no God, oh no God. So I just leaned down and I was just like praying, crying and praying, thank say thank God because he's him. <laughs> one shoulder, going that right. one. Yeah, thank God. So I'll, yeah. Did, 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 did so it like was it really felt, yeah. Do you feel like it felt fast? It was really that do you feel like it felt like a pit? Uh oh. Can you hear me? But not really, this is the thing. Sometimes you think that you're running really fast and there's no time. The time is not reflects what you're doing. But that day... Yeah. <laughs> I did not know. So this is why it was really... Yeah, it was really an emotional day for me. That day really... Yeah. It's also one of my best, but... That day was... <laughs> God knows. God knows. God knows. I love that. I love that. So what is your ultimate track goal? Like, is it a world record? Is it an Olympic gold? Is it a world champ? Like, what is your ultimate, like, track goal? Or, or is it no performance at all? Well, well, as I say, we all have a big goal, but 
we have to just let God right. give us what we need and deserve. We always, we all want to break the record. We all, mm -hmm. all want to win gold. And this is the, this is why we are running. But there's what we want mm -hmm. and there's what God wants for us. I start to learn well, and to let God give me what I want. Because when I'm focused of, in what I want, it don't come. So I start to just mm -hmm. be relaxed, train really hard, pray and put my faith in God. Because I know that what is best for me is going to give me. Who who have know that someone come from nowhere will have uh, um, be um, second in world champ in 20, 20, uh, 2017? No, nobody knows me. Even mm -hmm. 2016 in yeah. Olympic, who knows me? But it's because God knows what He prepared for me and is had lead me every year in what is best for me. So I just learn to trust on on his process because not in mine because there's what i want as a human and there's what yeah. god wants for me who is really best for me so actually i'm training ads really like every people and, and what he had in reserve for me i know that he will give me i want the gold yes i want the record yes but yeah all yes, I love notes. that. I love that. Because so. what he has for us is greater than our little goals anyway. That's the thing. <laughs> That's the thing. That's the thing. I love that. So what, is it, what are some things that you do off, like, what are some goals or some things you like to do off the track? Like, is there any dreams you have off the, yeah, off the track? Off the track. Like, yeah. uh, like if I finish my career, uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I was saying my fiance, but I like to cook, so maybe I will have a restaurant. But I really love to help people, like help mm -hmm. people who need really help. So maybe I will um for okay. um, my to have a foundation to help people. I do all that one, you know, without anybody knows because yes, I don't like yes. to speak about you know. But I think that at the end of the time you have to make it more official and really Help and if even I cannot help financially now, some other people through me can help. So really help the people who really need because mm -hmm. I come from nowhere and I know that God put some other people around me to help me where I am today. So I want to give back. I want to also continue to help. I do that. I start to do that even before mm. I do track and field. I continue to do that. So I want to make it more official and really um. help those who really help, uh, who, who need help. Yes, this is what really is my major focus, like help the needed, the person who lose their wife or their husband. Mm -hmm. the okay. often, often, yeah. often, Great often, 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 yes. often, <laughs> often, thank you, baby, yes, often. And because it's something that I cherish really, you know, every time I do it in my home way, but I want to, you know, make it more, yes. So it's something. Even help also those who want to become some track athletes like me, who don't have, resources. you know, the, um, uh, the resources to, to be there, can also be the canal to what to help them also so it's something I that yeah that. Like okay that. we're gonna look out for the restaurant and the foundation <laughs> for both of them okay i'm gonna try to see uh okay we'll do um one question and then we'll, we'll get you out of here uh when is your next when is your next race somebody asked. okay oh okay my next race my next race is supposed to be next week <laughs> in saying? mensac i'm going yes in mensac yeah. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> so I was not supposed to open, you know, in Mensac, but because we will okay. maybe do the relay with my team. So my girl said, why not? Yeah. Maybe you can do it like a training. Fun. So, a little, so, a light, yes, like, I will be like training, a little fun. Yes. I like okay, so I was yes, like, like to end training, my interview you know. with, with some advice. So like give some advice that somebody maybe gave you or just something to help somebody get to the position that you're in. Yeah. yeah some advice uh, can you speak so to some to uh to okay the advice mm -hmm. that i want to give to mostly young people who is in doing who is doing track and field or maybe not track and field who is in the world is to not to never rush the process to trust in themselves to work mostly hard you know because 
I think that if you 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 work hard, you give yourself hundred percent of your capacity. There is no way that you're not going to achieve your dream. You know. Don't mm -hmm. listen to people who say you cannot, because there is no way that you cannot. Because even God, on His hope, give you the power to achieve and to pursue what what is not um possible mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. human eyes. You know, mm -hmm. so you can do something great that. Uh, how to say it in English? You can do. Mm -hmm. Oh Jesus! <laughs> you can do um, more than you right. think right. that you can achieve. Mm -hmm. So you just have to believe in yourself. Believe also in God because it's the most important. Don't listen to people who say that you cannot because maybe you too young or you too old. Actually, I'm sure that <laughs> age is not really mm -hmm. <laughs> the matter. If you believe in yourself, I'm sure that you can 100% achieve what you want to achieve. So don't also um, quit at the, at, at the first, um, how to say it? When you lose yeah. the first time, don't quit. When you, you, yeah, when the result is not there, don't quit because this is the process for you to be stronger and it is leading you for some great so it's all that um lose or uh, lost thing i don't know how to say the way that mm -hmm. you uh, how you lost the first time this is how you it will be a a directive for mm -hmm. you to do better the next time so you just have to take that one as a lesson and know how to fix that error and to do better next time so believe in yourself don't quit at the first um occasion Continue to push yourself and continue to do yes. what you really love. Thank you so much for stopping by and joining us. You Your welcome. English is so good, by the way. Your English you is welcome. great, girl. Great. It was a great time. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be seeing you soon. Yes. Bye. Right, thank you for coming in, guys. Bye. Bye. Yeah, bye.